Welcome back, guys. Averix13 back with another LEGO review. I'm going to be doing one review a day because you're like one video a day. There's like school starting up soon. So I got to do my homework and study. So here I have the review of Anakin's Pod Racer 20th Anniversary in Edition. So the this set costs $30 because it's like in the Star Wars branding. And it's also a 20th anniversary set. And it comes with like an exclusive 20th anniversary minifigure so let's get into the set so the first mini minifigure we have is anakin i'll just move this out of the way so the first minifigure we have anakin so he has like kind of like he has a small legs and then he has kind of like a creased jacket mold and then he has like the e-reader thing then he has a belt in the back and then his back face print it's like more serious and then it has other ones heavy and then you could like put the head's visor down let's go into the next the next minifigure is padme amadala so you can see her hair um her pretty pretty basic um there's not really any arm or side printing same thing with anakin and he did come with a wrench this one she just comes with a gun so she's wearing a she has like a blue undershirt and then she has like a gray uh like a tannish top with like a blue belt and like a red belt buckle so the she's also using the mid legs which are kind of new to this year it was first introduced in harry potter so and then she has a very inner intricate braid detail on her hair piece and then that's where her back for so print it's like a little bit more of a, like aggressive and then the belt thing continues in the back and then it just like continues from the front printing let's go on to the exclusive 20th anniversary minifigure this is the 20th anniversary minifigure is Luke Skywalker. He's in his X-Wing attire, and he has, like, the yellow face print before they switch to, like, the tan and other face prints. So then you have a lightsaber hilt, which I'll remove real quick. And then that's, like, basically there's not that much printing going on to him. And then you have 20 years of LEGO Star Wars logo printed on the back. No head printing, but he has this really cool... Uh, helmet piece and then he also came with a base i'll just show that off quick it says 20 years of lego star wars 1999 to 2019 that's 20 years celebrating 20 years of lego star wars and then it has the minifigure named luke skywalker cross it's kind of like metallic print and then it has this actual extra two by four so, like, attached to the other 20th anniversary minifigures, like Lando, Princess Leia, Darth Vader, and Han Solo. I gotta show them the, the book. It has 20 years. Then it kind of, like, it says, like, it started 20 years ago. They're, like, pause it and read it. And then it talks about the original Luke Skywalker, and then it shows you the other sets you could get. And then the next thing it actually, like, shows... It's like, it's like being used in the pod racer being used in like the actual movie. And it's like talking about like the pod race and like where it was in the movie. Let's get into the set itself. So the first thing you can do with the set is you can put Anakin inside of it. I'm just going to move it a little bit closer. So you can put Anakin inside of it. So all you re really need to do is you need to like flip it around. like that and then that's like that yeah so uh, before i had the cockpit on backwards so now let's like try this again so i'm gonna try to put anakin in so you just stick him in there so there's like a four plate there let's see if i could get him in he could click on he's clicked on right now so he looks like he's like pod flying the pod racer so taking a look at the pod racer it's very like detailed and like intricate so it's like even though it's like 279 pieces it's still like very detailed so you give it the floating effect they use trans translucent like clear pieces to like give it the effect that it's like flying and it has it gives you a little handle so you can like swoosh it around like it's pretty durable and then they give they give you the effect that like it's like floating almost because it like it stand up at the base because if you have it like out of frame like that it just looks like it's floating so the center is like made up of like 
It has stickers on the side of those, and then like, most of the stickers went in this, so it's like very detailed. And then it's like, the thrusters are in like the front, and then like the boosters in like the back right there, and then the wires are like showing that it's like connected and holding by like that, and like the movie. So it has like the gears, this like is able to turn, I don't know if it's supposed to be locked in more. And this is pretty good. It's like, I would say like 25 or like $20. But they upped it because it's like 20th anniversary and it's like Star Wars related. And it's like pretty swooshable. And then it there's like a lot of detail going into the thrusters. It's basically the same thing on both sides. And then it has the lightning that can like kind of connects it. And that's basically it. And then let's go over the final verdict in the box. Okay, so this set was pretty good. Let's take a look at the box. So, it wasn't a bad set. So, that's like the box. It's 20th anniversary years on it. And then it was for each of seven plus set, seven, five, two, five, five, eight. And then it's 279 pieces, which isn't like, I would say it's like worth $20. So, I'd give the set like a 9.5 out of, out, of out of 10. Because the only reason I'm giving it to 9.5 is the price. The minifigures are fine. If you're gonna have like a thirty dollar set, if you're gonna have like a thirty dollar set, you might as well add like the other more pod races in it and make it like a forty dollar set and it's like the pod race together. And like you could still put that twentieth anniversary in because they could probably get away for selling it for like fifty dollars. They add like two pod racers and have the exclusive um twentieth anniversary minifigure. So that's why I'm giving it a nine point five. It's overall a good set. I'd recommend you buying it, but it had, like, a lot of stickers to put on it. It had, like, it had nine sets of stickers, but, like, the last nine stickers were, like, all the same to put on, like, the thruster engines. And that's basically my review of the set. I would re recommend you get it. I'd, like, wait until it goes on sale or, like, before it retires since it's, like, 20th anniversary. It might retire soon. So I would go out in the stores and, like, get it right now. So that was my review. Hopefully you like my video. Subscribe, leave a comment what you think about the set or like what what I should do like better to get my content better and what I should, what video idea I should do next. Should I do a drop test to this? Custom minifigures because I have like a whole bit of custom minifigures and I'm probably gonna do an Easter special tomorrow. So just comment what video you wanna see. Bye guys, have a great rest of your day, see you next video.